Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215, and right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're going to be doing a virtual tour of the Kensington Hood here in North Philadelphia, located in the North Philadelphia East section of North Philly. Right now we're going to focus on the upper half of Upper Kensington, also known as North Kensington. If you have been watching the channel, we already did a part one and part two of a 2023 version of Upper Kensington. We covered the lower east half and we also covered the lower west half. Right now we're gonna cover the upper north half, which is after Allegheny Avenue. Right now we're at B and Allegheny Avenue. We're next to Stetson Middle School. We're going to be making this left-hand turn on the 3200 block of B Street. There's a lot of traffic out right now. We have a truck that's making a turn right here, so I'm going to try to turn around them. We have it looks to be like students running in the street. There was a crossing guard. I'm surprised the crossing guard allowed him to run into the street like that. The school is letting out on our left. This is Stetson, Stetson Middle School. It's John B. Stetson Middle School. We have a gentleman on our left who looks like he was asking for change right next to the middle school. So B Street is the borderline. If we travel left, we'll be in the Fairhill neighborhood. If we travel right, we'll be in the Kensington neighborhood. We're passing B in Westmoreland. We're going to continue moving forward towards Tioga. Tioga is one of the borderlines of the Kensington neighborhood. We're passing Thayer, the 300 block of East Thayer. We're gonna travel forward about one more block and then we'll make a right hand turn on Tioga. We have Ice Cold Beer, which is a little beer distributor on our right hand side. I believe that was repurposed several times. It was even once a little bar slash pool hall because I recall going there once with an uncle who passed away when I was in my younger years to play a game of pool. We have the Panda Chinese restaurant on our right. We got Raphael Mini Market on our left. As you can see, students are crossing the street with their parents and whatnot. We're not far from the police district, which is, I would say, probably three blocks in front of us. Whitaker, B Street turns to Whitaker, but we're not gonna go that far up. We're gonna make a right-hand turn on this corner. On our left-hand side, we have B and Tioga Auto Parts and Services important domestic parts. Let's make this right hand turn on Tioga Street, Tioga. We have a little storage facility on our left hand side. We're passing Orms, 3400 block of Orms. Let's make this right hand turn on the 3400 block of Rose Hill. Now we're turning right on the 3400 block of Rose Hill. On our left, what you see, the green vegetation that goes up in an angle, that goes up to once, or what once was a, a uh, railroad track, a little train track, one of those cargo freight train tracks. Since Philadelphia back in the day was an industrial headquarters of the nation, there was a lot of those railroad tracks that used to ship cargo from point A to point B. But since the deindustrialization after, I believe, World War II, many of the factories closed down and many of those railroad tracks um, became useless and they stopped using them. All right, we're entering the 3300 block of Rose Hill, passing Ontario. And again, you can see the continuation on our left hand side. We're passing the 300 block of Thayer. Check out this little booth on our left. You see it? Chairs and all of that. I'm gonna make a right on the corner at Cornwall and then we'll end up coming back around just to cover some of these smaller blocks. We can't make a right on Cornwall. We'll make the right on Westmoreland. And then, oh, there's a stray dog. I see a stray dog. I was running on my right hand side. I don't know if it escaped from someone's house. It looked like a golden retriever. All right, we have the police camera right here on my right hand side on top, right next to that street sign that says Rose Hill, that white little globe ball looking thing below it. That's a police camera, the eye in the sky. We 
We have homes on our right hand side, two story residential homes with porches. The porches have gates. As you can see, they're like sealed. Some of them even have somewhat like a, like a patio. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. The crossing guard was helping the students cross the street. So this block right here on my right hand side was where I saw the dog loose. Thing is, both of these blocks on our right go right. So we don't really have a choice. Like we pick one or the other. All right, I, I don't see the dog in the street, so that's a good thing. Let's make a right here on Thayer. We can actually go one block further and then make another right. Yeah, let's skip this this block right here because we could have went there. It's gonna see the problem with this little area, uh, this cluster of blocks is they 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 mostly run the same way. So if we want to see them all, we're going to have to keep going around and coming up B Street, which might be repetitive. Let's make this left right here. We didn't cover this block. We got a Peralta grocery store on our right. As you can see, they have the recycling bins on those poles. You see them? The recycling truck must have just went by. So there's specific days where the recycling comes and picks up the bottles, metal, and cardboard and glass and stuff. And then there's specific days where the general trash truck comes to pick up your waste. Okay, we have someone double parked in front of us, <clears throat> unfortunately, right at the beginning of our virtual experience. Hopefully they don't take too long. It looks like there's somebody in the passenger seat. There is a driver in the vehicle. I believe the driver is dropping off the passenger. Might be her mother, might be an in-law. All right, we're approaching Tioga once again, which is the borderline. The block we just exited was Orms. That's 21st century storage directly in front of us. They repurposed that building within the last, I would say decade and a half, last 15 years or so. It used to be abandoned for quite some time, then they made it into the storage units. Just to avoid repetition, I'm not gonna go down Rose Hill. Rose Hill's on our right hand side. That'll be extremely repetitive. So we're going to make a right coming up on C Street. We have Abbey Color Shipping and Receiving Dock directly in front of us. That's that brownstone brick building on our left hand side. On our right hand side, we have a huge empty lot. There's several large uh, pieces of machinery, excavating equipment, bulldozers and whatnot that are located in that lot. All right, we're at C. C Street, we're entering the 3300 block of C Street, the intersection of C and Ontario. On our left hand side, we have McVeigh Playground. We're gonna go around the block once again. I'm gonna try to give you guys an alternate view. So right now we are traveling southbound on C Street. Behind us is northbound. On our right is westbound. On our left is eastbound. The further we travel east, the closer we'll get to the open air usage. We're about, I would say, three to four minutes away from that, which you guys know is Kensington and Allegheny. We're at C in Westmoreland, 300 block of Westmoreland on our right, 400 block of Westmoreland on our left. We're exiting the 3300 block of C Street, entering a descending number of 3200 block of C Street. This factory on our left was abandoned. I thought they were repurposing it, and guess what? They are disassembling it. They're dismantling the building. I went in there once, captured a little bit of footage, I was under the impression that they were gonna rehabilitate the building, probably turn it into lofts, but I guess they chose to probably level it out. They're probably gonna make something on it. So we already covered that portion of Kensington in front of us. We went through all of those little blocks or as many as we could within the time allotted. We're gonna make this left-hand turn on Allegheny Avenue. We're on C in Allegheny. I mentioned that Rite Aid on our right-hand side is where many police meet and gather in the parking lot when they're gonna do raids or they're gonna strategize any large stings. You tend to drive by and see a dozen of them parked in the parking lot. Let's make this left-hand turn on the 400 block of Allegheny Avenue. 
We're passing Arbor Street. This furniture business on our left called Us Furniture or US Furniture. That was once on fire. I captured it. I captured footage right out front. Somebody set a trash bag on fire and the front of the building caught on fire. Now, McVeigh is located on our left. That's going to cause another dilemma in our virtual tour because McVeigh takes up a big piece of realty over here and it's going to cut off some of the blocks. And in order to see some of the little blocks, we're going to have to go around and around and around. So I'll give you guys two rounds. But after the third round, I think I'm just going to continue moving down Allegheny. I kind of wish this little area right here wasn't like this, but that's how they designed it. So, for example, we're turning left on D Street. We just came off of Allegheny. Wow, it looks like somebody hit this RV right here. Look at that. Wow. <coughs> that's a shame. We're passing Hilton. We can go right, but maybe when I pass the second bout, we'll probably go right. Now we're passing Willard. See, Willard comes towards us. It's the 500 block of Willard. And that's McVeigh Playground over here on our left-hand side. That's the one that I said that takes up a big piece of realty. So what I'll do is I'll take this straight. I'm going to take this straight towards, we're passing Westmoreland. So I'll, I'll take this towards Tioga and then we'll come back down and around. So this is McVeigh on our left. There's a pool, there's a basketball court, there's a playground, there's a baseball field. And the summer is usually pretty packed. A lot of people playing baseball, kids playing ball, stuff like that. This is a little rec center on our left. There's been a handful of shootings in this park before. <clears throat> Now we're at Ontario. There's a police camera on our left-hand side up top. All right, and now we're gonna continue traveling forward, which is northbound. We're traveling about 15 miles per hour. You got D Street Studios on our right-hand side. They repurposed one of those warehouses. This one on our right looks like they installed a bunch of new windows, which means it will be repurposed soon. Wow, incredible pothole, guys. Brace, brace. I'm gonna have to brace. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, we made it through. Success. Okay, let's make this left-hand turn on the 400 block of Tioga. Tioga. Let me be careful. There's oncoming traffic both ways, two, two lanes, one going westbound, one going eastbound. Right now we're traveling westbound on Tioga. I see cops all the way up there in the Fairhill neighborhood. <clears throat> Let's make this left on Hurley. Ah, man, people double parked right on the corner. I don't see how that works out. She's conducting a conversation with whoever is at the door. I think there's somebody in that Civic. Can you park up, ma'am? She looked through her rear view mirror. She saw me, caught eye contact with me, and then looked down. Okay, I'm gonna give you about several more seconds, ma'am, before we have to proceed forward. She's waiting for somebody. He's at the door. Yeah, he just told her to spin the block. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, he came out the door and gave her the gesture, like, spin the block. Yeah, thank you, because we really didn't want to be waiting too long behind that. That tends to take up valuable footage just at a standstill. Check out all the trash cans on our right. They're meant to hold parkings. Well, technically, they're meant to hold trash, but in the hood, they put those to hold their own parking slot. Look at that little shed on my right. So this is McVeigh in front of us. That's McVeigh Recreation Center. Remember I told you guys, you remember, remember? It takes up a good piece of realty in the area, which is why some of the blocks get cut off and then we gotta go around more than once just to see different blocks. So I'm gonna pass this street. This is D Street. I'm gonna make a right on Roarer. R-O-R-E-R, -R -E -R, Roarer. Let's we'll make this right-hand turn. This is the 3300 block of Roarer Street. Shh. 
showroom entrance on our left hand side bernard signs it's a signage building shipping and receiving We have the 500 block of East Cornwall to our right, which is another little um, entrance to Grand's Back. There's a little tiny block over there that's pretty active called Grand's Back. But for now, we're gonna continue traveling southbound. We have Jomar Food Market on our left-hand side. And we have Medina, Medina Mini Market. We're at Rohrer and Westmoreland. Again, we have people crossing. I actually believe we just saw this young lady with the stroller and the child. Um, okay, let's continue moving forward. Okay, let me see if I can kill two birds with one stone. I'm gonna make this right on Willard, 500 block of Willard. I warn you, it's gonna take us through a block that you guys already saw. So we're gonna make this right on Willard. We have a couple young men over here congregating on my left-hand side. Matter of fact, let's make this right on Grand's back. You guys don't have to see D Street again. Let's make this right on Grand's back. There's an abandoned house over here on our left. And then Grand's back directly in front of us is where we would have been able to come through if we would have made that first right that we just passed not too long ago. See, it's somewhat like a maze. See how it says do not enter in front of us? So if we would have came from that block in front of us and came towards here, it would have been another do not enter because this is a one way. But guess what? It's going to take us right back around to a block we already saw, D in Westmoreland. Now, I had a buddy in high school, rest in peace, Wilson. He passed away on this corner not too long after we graduated high school, class of 2006. And his father passed away about 15 years before him on this block on Westmoreland just about four blocks in front of us on A and Westmoreland. We're on D and Westmoreland. You do the mathematics and count down in descending order. Um, yeah, he, his, his father passed away on A and Westmoreland. He passed away on D and Westmoreland, which, you know, sucks. What are the odds? They both passed away on, on Westmoreland to gun violence. And now we're back at this little uh, factory, this factory that they had out here. What I will do, so we don't have to see C Street again, because I don't like repetition. We're at C in Westmoreland. We could have made a left, but we already went down there. That's that factory that they're dismantling. We're gonna make a left coming up on Rose Hill. See, there used to be some tracks right here on our left and our right, above us. Way back, way back, but they disassembled that. <laughs> Let's make this left on the 3200 block of Rose Hill. So I don't know if you recall the dirt over here on our left. Well, we were in the last two blocks that consisted of this on our left. This is the last one before we get to Allegheny. Let me move a little faster. There's not much to see here. We do have a bunch of school kids though. You can see them walking around with their backpacks. We have a whole group of youngsters here all wearing face masks. I would say middle school age, but with no backpacks. <laughs> no backpacks. Let me squeeze in. Squeeze in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me be very cautious here because people will try to squeeze through the center. All right. We're back right here next to the ride aid. You see the ride aid on my right? There's a child care center on our left. We've already explored on my right side, so I'm just making that footnote. We're not going to go through our right side again. If you want to check out what that area looks like, make sure to check out my other Kensington videos. Type Tune 215 Kensington, Philadelphia. See what pops up. All right. Let's make this left from Hurley. This is going to be one of those repetitious things, guys. You guys didn't see Hurley, but in order to see Hurley, we got to see McVeigh once again. We have a Chinese store over here on my left-hand side. At the end of this road, you're gonna see McVeigh Playground. Oh, wow, there's an ugly, ugly pothole right here in front of us. Oh man, one of the worst. Oh, that looks horrible. Okay, guys, give me a second. Let me mentally brace. Here we go. We're about to enter the twilight zone. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, this is bad. That should be filled up. That should definitely be filled. Ooh, 
that should be filled up. I felt that. I don't know if you guys felt it through the camera. <laughs> that definitely probably ruined my my Nerf bars. Let me let me look outside. Give me a second. Wow, guys, that was horrible. The whole vehicle just got absorbed into the hole. We have an abandoned house over here on our left hand side. Shout out to the homie Ant. I have a buddy Ant that lives on this block. I like those steelies on my right on that EF sedan, those white uh, deep dish steelies. We have another abandoned house on our left. Yeah, that one hurt. That one hurt so much that it made my soul tingle. Like my skin is tingling right now. <laughs> that was bad, man. That's not cool. And there's another one coming up. What? Bro, what is up with this? I'm, I'm about to take, like, do I got to drive around with a, with, a, with a piece of wood? All right, this, this one isn't as bad. I guess the neighborhood got innovative and they put bricks and stuff in it. That's unacceptable. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, that's unacceptable, bro. Like, I was about to go out there. You see the pieces of wood there in front of us next to that trash can? I don't know if y'all see pieces of wood. I was about to jump out. Cut! Jump out, grab all these pieces of wood and place them inside that hole. The first one needs to get filled up. The first one was bad, bad, bad. That's why if you have no business being on these side blocks, then don't drive through them. <laughs> right now, my business being on these side blocks is for you guys. But other than that, yeah. We're passing the 3200 block of Bodenai, which is a lot better block, might I say, as far as paving goes. But guess what? If we go straight, We've already covered this whole little area a few times. We have a needle drop box on our right hand side. You see, it It literally says needle drop box. Read it. You see it? Needle drop box. And it has the hazard sign on it, the hazard waste. It's amazing how they began placing those all around uh, the Kensington area. I mean, I understand why, you know, it's for proper disposal, but it's something that you would have never thought you would have saw 20, 30 years ago. Wow, that was bad, guys. Like, I'm still reevaluating my whole life. I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> Yo. I'm surprised the residents didn't try to fill it up so sooner. You know what I mean? Like, like, how they did the second one, they put bricks and stones and everything. I'm surprised they didn't do that to that one. Put something in it. Put a cone. Put... But wood, put, I don't know, fill it up with trash. I don't know. <laughs> fill it up with something so the, 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 the hit isn't so bad. Listen, I'm so tired of going around C Street that I hate to say it, guys. I'm not going to take this block right here, Bold or Not. Look, at right here on my left, you guys didn't see Bold or Not. However, I covered it in previous videos in the past. But if I go through it again, we're going to see McVeigh again. And I think I'm all McVeigh'd out. So let's pass that block. Let's pass Hurley. Let's pass... D Street? Should we pass D Street? No, matter of fact, let's go left on D Street. This is where the RV was at, but let's take the first right. Because we didn't take the first right. That is Elkin Elementary School on our right-hand side. As you can see, there's crossing guards out and all that cool stuff. There's Knockout Sports Bar on our left, right next to these two crash vehicles. Looks like somebody came through here like a drunk driver and hit everything. All right, let's make this right on Hilton Street. This is the block that you guys haven't got a chance to see yet. Let's make this right on Hilton. Wow, I see somebody with a CRV in front of us, and they must have a gigantic chuchetto on top of their CRV. What is a chuchetto, you may ask yourself? Say it with me. Chu, chair, row, chuchetto. That is a speaker box. It's a very large speaker box, aka the cajon. Um, it's a speaker box where, you know how back in the day they would do systems in the cars and deck out their back seats? You see that big box right in front of us? Nine times out of 10, unless it's a gigantic washer, which I doubt, <laughs> on their roof, it's probably a chuchero. If you go to hunting park uh, in the summer season, you'll see plenty of vehicles with those giant boxes on their roof decked out with 12, 16, 18, 24 speakers, 10 inch, 12 inch speakers, playing very loud music, kind of like a concert. Yeah, and that's how they rock them. They put them on top of their roof, I know, right? Crazy. But that is the latest craze, chucheros. You can Google it and learn more about it or go on YouTube if you want to learn more about True Chettles and why they uh, like that. It's basically, for me, it's cheating. It's taking the speakers outside of the car and putting it on your roof, which is cheating. Like, of course, your stuff's going to sound loud. 
back in the day when you know even now my 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 little uh ef civic that has a nice car system in it everything is inside and i try to leave everything inside because i think it's fair if your car sounds loud you know with everything on the inside you can hear it a block away then that's cool that's like quality but putting it on your roof, man, you could take two 10-inch speakers and put them on your roof and hear them a block away. So it's not too impressive, but to each his own. They do sound massively loud, but it's just not my particular cup of tea. Although I'll sell you a true cheddar if you want one. <laughs> I got a couple for sale. My buddy's uncle's garage is over here on my right-hand side. His birthday's the same day as mine, Frankie. He's probably born, look, rest in peace memorial on my right. You see that box? Wow, rest in peace memorial. That's a shame, man. It's an abandoned house. I wonder if they pass away in the house. There's another abandoned house on my right. Another cat. Look at, look at that cat. That cat looks suspect. Oh, the cat chasing another cat. The one cat's chasing the pussy cat. I guess that's some good pussy. <laughs> that's the only time that I can say that terminology, guys. You know why? Because it's actually called a pussy cat. So, hey. That's me being fair. I'm not using it out of context. Don't go twist my words against me. <laughs> rest in peace, geez. There was a rest in peace painting on our left-hand side. More craters in the ground. Great, wonderful, fabulous fatality. Finish him. So as you can see, we got some more of those factories on our left. We got broken glass right here on the ground on our left-hand side. It looks like whatever vehicle was parked there first, they got broken into. We got some dumping on our right. Empty lot on our right with some more trash. I recall seeing a CCTV footage um, that was produced from this corner where they parked the van right here up on the sidewalk. Four guys jumped out, ran to the corner on my right. They shot somebody up. They ran back. They jumped back in the van and drove off. Right here on this corner. All right. This is going to be another tricky one. I'm going to go straight. I could have went right, but in order to show you this block, I got to take it now because if not, I'm going to get sent around a bunch of times. Now, Kensington is somewhat tricky when you talk about the borders and the boundaries because coming up, we're actually very close to the Harrogate neighborhood. Harrogate is very close. And then after Tioga, you got the Junietta and Feltonville neighborhood. But we're gonna stay below, below Tioga. Harrogate's to our right-hand side. It's the sister neighborhood over here, right next to Kensington. Shares the same uh, avenue, shares Kensington Avenue. Uh, we're passing E Street. We're at E and Tioga. And again, look at E comes towards us. The next block, Crystal Street, comes towards us. So even if we wanted to go down one of those blocks, we couldn't. Let's make this right on Tampa. But again, when we get to the corner of Tampa, we're going to literally waste a half a block. What is that, a pig at the corner? Or is that like a little dog? I saw some chubby little creature. It couldn't be it couldn't be a hog, but then again, we're in North Philly. I would not put it put it past anyone to own a little chubby pig. <laughs> but it might be a little white pit bull. Little chubby guy. Those giant Christmas lights on our right, you see him? That's cool. Yeah, so we're driving forward, which is southbound. It's gonna take us to a corner, right? That corner what is this? There's a dog on my right-hand side. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Where'd that dog go? Oh, right there. You see, it's a white dog. You see, you see, you see, it's a white dog. So chubby. Oh, it escaped, and it looked like it had a litter of pups. That's messed up. The thing that I don't like about some animal owners sometimes is when the dog already produces a litter, they don't care about the mother. And that's messed up. Sometimes they just let the mother run about, or they just dis dispose of the mother as if she's not a living cre creature and it's like whatever we don't need the mother no more because we already got our litter of puppies let's make this left hand turn on keem street she was scruffy it was a white dog another person double parking fantastic fantastic 
And there's a gigantic parking. She's letting in a child, so sometimes, you know, you gotta be mindful. It's like, okay, she's, she's boarding a child. All aboard! But it's like, man, couldn't you have just taken three seconds to park up? You're making us wait for three seconds, so couldn't you just for three seconds park up? How do you guys feel about that? What are, what are your thoughts on this whole double parking thing? Now the mother's getting back in her vehicle. The way I feel about it, me as a Philadelphia driver, lifelong resident, if I'm picking somebody up, I do my best to let them know, be ready. Be ready when I pull up. Please don't have me double park. Please don't have me try to find parking. Be ready. <coughs> because I don't want to be that guy because I know how it feels to be stuck behind that guy. So please, you know, pay attention for me. I'll text you. I'm 10 minutes away. Then I'm five minutes away. Then I'm right up the block. When I say I'm five minutes away to right up the block, please be at the door looking up the block. So when you see me, you can just run in, jump in, and we don't hold nobody up. You know, fair is fair, right? It makes sense. It's not rocket science. All right, let's make this right-hand turn. Again, we missed like a block or two behind us just because the design of the neighborhood. Let's make this right on F Street, F and Tioga. We're next to the 89 bus stop. As you can see, this street is a lot wider. It's two lanes wide. Look, and I'm on the left lane. Now I can swerve over here to the to the right lane. See how wide it is? Or I can just stay in the middle of both lanes, which I'll probably do that. Stay in the middle of both lanes. Because if you leave a gap, they're going to try to squeeze around you. I like these paintings. There's a painting on top of this, de uh, this detailing garage over here in the corner. It's so cool. It looks like a piranha, right? But the piranha has a bunch of row homes on his back. But then again, the piranha, it almost looks like a, like a shrimp. Like an evil shrimp piranha with like binocular goggles with lights with like a headlight. That thing up on top of the garage, you see it? We're in Ontario. It's such a cool painting. A couple years ago, I would say like uh, several years ago, a lot of these, these paintings popped up. Look, look at this one on my right, passing there. My uncle got gunned down right here on the left at this Chinese store. He got gunned down two weeks before his 23rd birthday. Sawed off shotgun to his back, unfortunately. We have an abandoned church over here on the left. We're passing Cornwall. Could have went up Cornwall, but this is going to be one of those things where it's like I got to pick and choose my block strategically. Let's make this right on Westmoreland. When he got gunned down right behind us, he used to live right here in front of us. You see this corner building? He used to live right there. So that's crazy to get gunned down less than a half a block or a block away from your house. Crazy, right? All right, we're passing Keem. Matter of fact, uh, shall we take Keem? Shall we take Keem? Shall we take... No, Keem's going to shoot us all the way around. Then we're going to come right back out the block we was already on. So let's make this left on Tampa. Let's make this left on Tampa. We're passing Willard. We got a speed bump right here. Uh, we can make a right down Hilton. Let's make this right down Hilton. Because now we'll go to Allegheny. The next block was Allegheny. But this is probably like one of the cleanest blocks in the upper Kensington area. And clean as in the houses are, I mean, for the most part, they're kept. You got the trees. The trees give it a different look. There's not too much debris on the ground. This is the 600 block of East Hilton. Now we're on E and Hilton. Let's make this right on E Street. Be very cautious. Cars are coming from our left. Now we can make a right on Willard, but it's going to take us right back around in like a circle. So let's go straight to E and West. If you know about E and West, then you know. If you know, you know. Cop cameras on our right hand side, cop cameras on the corners. Uh, we could have made a left, but then it would have took us through repetitive blocks. We're passing Cornwall. So I'm gonna do a trick move here. 
I'm gonna make a right on Ontario. Half of the block y'all didn't see, half of the block y'all saw. I'm gonna come back around and I'm come back up, up one of these little blocks, then I'm come back and make a right again. I like this RX-7 on my right-hand side. It's a beautiful little vehicle. Love that RX-7. And check out more of these uh, surreal paintings. Look at it. And they got a kid wheeling on a big ripper, big ripper pedal bike, you see it? Then they got the fish coming out from out of the ground with the umbrella. You might have to pause it to actually see the mural a lot better. Oh, check it out. We got Crystal Street here too. Y'all didn't get a chance to see Crystal. But then it's gonna be really repetitive. Yeah, let me keep on moving forward. It doesn't look like there's much activity hanging out on Crystal in any way. For sale on our right hand side, the address is 626. You can Google 626 Ontario Street, Philadelphia, PA. And I believe this would be considered East Ontario Street. Yes, East Ontario Street. See, and that's that mural on our right. You recall me talking about the piranha looking thing? There it goes uh, again, the piranha looking thing. But the reason why we ran around the block is because I'm gonna take one of these little blocks. So I'll take Cornwall and then we'll probably come back out of Wensley. You see Wensley right here on my right? Wensley comes towards us, but we're gonna go into Cornwall just so you can see some of these blocks that don't get a lot of attention virtually. I used to go to this little grocery store right here on my left-hand side when I was a youngster. Another abandoned house we just passed. Collision Specialist, N-E-L, truck and tire repair. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, ladies as well. We have a $1,000 giveaway when we reach 100,000 subscribers. Please consider joining and becoming a member. All funds help vehicle wear and tear, and as you can hear, <laughs> the vehicle does receive some tear more than wear. The vehicle's taking a beating and then we get left with the expenses. All right, we're gonna make this right-hand turn. Remember we were already here? That's where the RX-7 was at. I actually learned how to drive on one of those, a uh, stick shift. I learned how to drive automatic in a 1988 Honda Civic hatchback at nine years old. I learned how to drive stick shift in a 1985 RX-7 GSLS E5 letter edition, 13B rotary. Posi rear at 13 years old. <clears throat> we have another abandoned house on our left. Brand new vehicle on our right, a RAV4, that, that electric blue. <clears throat> I was about to say, look at they got a chuchero on their protege. That ain't a chuchero, that's like a children's bed set, a Paw Patrol bed set. <laughs> no, that. That's trying to be their roof rack, yo. They use that Paw Patrol bed thing to make it look like it's a roof rack. Yo, they wild for that one. Look at pink rims on the Civic. Yo, they wild for that one. Paw Patrol, what are the odds, huh? Huh, huh, huh? All right, uh, we can go forward. Let's go forward. All right, we're at Westmoreland. This is the 700 block of East Westmoreland on our left, 600 block of East Westmoreland on our right. We're gonna continue traveling southbound. We're approaching Willard. Willard is on our left-hand side, 700 block of Willard. We're gonna make a left coming up on Hilton. If we go forward about a half a block, we'll hit Allegheny Avenue. And then two blocks to our left is Kensington and Allegheny the epicenter of the crisis here in Philadelphia. But we're gonna turn left here. We're traveling about three miles per hour. It may seem a lot faster, but we're traveling only three miles per hour. We have a gentleman sweeping up on our right hand side for all of you uh, curious viewers who say, Tune, does anyone ever pick up a broom? Well, that answers your question. At least one person picks up a broom. 
My guy right here is taking a picture of something on the ground. It is. It looks like a rat. Is he taking a picture of a rat? Yep. He took a picture of a rat. With a needle. Bro, they jabbed the rat with a needle with a syringe. Bro. I want to know, did the rat already have the syringe or did somebody jab the rat with the syringe? That is crazy. I see a crazy pothole in front of us. Like, I'm really concerned about this, uh, this crater in the ground. Hold on. Ouch. I think I'm more concerned about potholes than I am about my actual safety in these neighborhoods. <laughs> I'm serious. Listen, I don't really care about my safety. Listen, just make sure that my vehicle comes out alive and then we straight. <laughs> I'll be that guy when I wake up in the hospital. I'll be like, you know, you'll think I'll ask more important things. And I'll be like, how's my vehicle? Is my vehicle okay? <laughs> and they're like, dude, just shut up, man. You're okay. You're okay. There's another one. Hold on. They're taking off the front face on our left. You see this building? They installed a new door. They put plywood, new window, and, and, and they might put a new um, face. Oh, man, another pothole, guys. This sucks. Ouch. Ouch. Another abandoned house on my right. And then we got police right here at the corner of this block. What do you know, mate? Police station right here at the corner of a troubled block. This block receives a fair share of activity. And look, you have a police officer from the 24th district directly in front of us. And check out the contrast. Children and their family walking by a police officer. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. All right, we're going to make a left here because we have no other choice but to make a left. You can't make a right. You see the no right sign. But unfortunately, we got more potholes, guys. More potholes. I'm not proud to say we got more potholes. Okay, I'm going to watch out with this pothole right here. All right, now I'm going to make this left-hand turn. On one of the previous parts of my drive of this neighborhood recently, I left off at this block. So if you remember that, you know that this is where I left off on the next block. What I will do though, is I will make a right-hand turn on this corner to show you guys the area that I did not show you, a continuation, which is why we're focused on the upper portion, more or less than the bottom portion. Okay, we got a car parked on the sidewalk on our left, car on our right hand side, and we're squeezing through both vehicles. The vehicle on our right scratched up. I wonder why. Not everybody is a phenomenal driver and your vehicle will be scratched up. This is a father giving his child a hug. I think that's admirable. She wanted to give him a hug. Although he's holding us up, I mean, Every girl needs a father in their life, so let them have their relationship. Let's make this right-hand turn on G Street. There's a little camera sitting over here on the steps. That was weird. <laughs> Yo, if y'all rewind it and look at the steps that we just passed, there was a little white camera sitting on the steps. It's one thing to be on a pole or on a house or something, but it was literally sitting on the steps. I wonder if it was recording or anything. Hey, there's a cat right there. See the cat? Meow, meow. All right. Let's make this right-hand turn on Willard. We're just going around and about, guys. Just going around. If you guys haven't got a chance to see this block much, this block doesn't get too much attention. That's what I'm here for to shine a light on the blocks that don't get much attention. We have another, what looks to be, well, it looked like it was abandoned, but it looks like they might be restoring it. But I see unsafe structure, notice of violation. Female on my right, she looks in dismay. She had like a, like a diarrhea face, like when you're stuck on the toilet and you, you know, I don't know if you've ever been stuck, but you get the cramps, like, uh, uh, she had one of those faces.
they like, Toon, we don't know what you're talking about, bro. <laughs> Toon be having diarrhea? Nah. I'm like, it's, it's figuratively speaking, of course, guys. I use a lot of uh, metaphors and, and, and figuratives or figures of speech. All right, we're coming off of Shelbourne. Look, he gave, everybody's in the mood of hugging. Look at, he came out of his multicolor uh, Chevy. O'Head just looking at us. He straight up just slowed down and looked at us. I kind of like her uh, her jacket. She had a Hey Arnold jacket. The the female that the dude was hugging had a Hey Arnold jacket. <clears throat> so I was here not too long ago. I'll tell y'all a quick story. Like a few weeks ago. I would say five, six weeks ago. I was here, parked up, whatever. I was doing some business. And while I was parked up on the right-hand side, there was a car passing by, like how we're passing by. And right about here, somebody goes to the door, opens up the door, punches the driver and tries to pull the driver out of the car. And the driver like kind of like shrugged him off and kept driving, closed his door and, and drove him off. And I heard the reasoning behind the person who punched him. He said that the guy had drove around twice and he was taking pictures of his vehicle. So the one who punched him didn't like the fact that some random guy was driving by taking pictures. So rather than confronting him and saying, yo buddy, why are you taking pictures of my vehicle? He tried to pull him out the car and beat him up. <laughs> and he did get a good hit in. He did get one good hit in. And I'm in my head like, oh man, homie about to start shooting and I'm right here. Let me like duck, let me like dodge accordingly so you know, I don't catch a bullet. But no, nah, he straight up just punched him and he probably would have kept on punching him and pulling him out of the car. But yeah, the old head took off. The, the true question is, why was the guy taking pictures of his car? You know what I mean? There's a memorial on, on, on our right. Rest in peace. Wow, young woman. Wow, she was young. She looked like she was in her 20s to early 30s. Rest in peace memorial. Abandoned house on our left. <clears throat> oh, there's some scrap metal on our right. Sheesh. Perfect time to have a scrap truck. Speed limit is 25 miles per hour. We are traveling three miles per hour. So we're well below the speed limit. All right, let's make this left-hand turn. We're on H Street. Let's make this left. I had an uncle that used to live right here. <clears throat> if a person never plays a role in your life, are they still considered your uncle? I guess legally. Um, blood wise but you know how they say a father or a sperm donor can be a sperm donor but that doesn't make him a father you know so I guess the same rule might apply to a family member an uncle can be an uncle but if he never played the role as the uncle then you know I had a lot of those in my life I had uncles that didn't play uncles I had grandparents that didn't play grandparents and so on story of my life cry me a river huh cry me cry me Listen to the smallest, saddest violin in the world. Say no. <laughs> that horrible violin. Throw that thing out and get a refund, tune. <clears throat> What's this on our right? Is this Sher Sheridan? <clears throat> I had another uncle that actually played an uncle. Now this, now this is sad because I had one that used to live behind us that wasn't too much of an uncle. Right here, my uncle, um, his funeral was held in this funeral home in front of us. And he played an uncle. He was a good uncle. This was at Gutkin Funeral Mansion right in front of us. And even though he was incarcerated for, for, for a fair amount of time, um, on and off, every time he did come out of prison, he was always there. He was always there to talk to. He always used to, you know, we, I used to cut his hair. We used to every now and then hang out and talk. I do have fond memories of this uncle that passed away. And this was the funeral home that they held his... Uh, his uh, viewing at right here on my left. <clears throat> I could go left, but it's gonna take us through like a repetitive round. So I don't really wanna keep seeing the same thing. So I'm gonna make this right on G in Ontario. And then we'll finesse our way through some of these little blocks in front of us. We're not far from the Coca-Cola factory. There's a Coca-Cola distribution manufacturing center about two blocks in front of us in the Junietta neighborhood. It's huge, it takes up like I would probably say two or three gigantic blocks. When I was a high school student, let's make this right, at Ontario. 
You got Rondon, mini market in front of us. When I was a high school student, this is Gloria Cesares Elementary School. I could have swore that this was a different building. Anyway, whatever. So <clears throat> when I was in high school, it was like, um, so I went to Edison High School. So there was a bunch of vocational workshops from like beauty, automotive, welding, vending, HVAC, medical, um, child care, and so on, right? I was obviously in the audiovisual technology communications program, which is what? Film, film production. That's how I got into this stuff. Well, one of the reasons why I got into it. So um, let's make this left here because I've showed you guys in front of us a handful of times. Let's make this left because I don't get a chance to show you this area too much. Although on one of my earlier tours in this area, when I parked here, you guys know how I get stuck behind cars? Not because I want to, because I have to. They made a drug transaction on camera right in front of me. That was priceless. Everybody in the comment section called it out. They was like, yo, that's crazy. Did a sale just, just go down? We're passing a Russell. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. We're passing a Russell. It was right here on Schiller. <laughs> like right here, watch. I'm gonna make this left-hand turn. Right here, right here, right here. This is the block that I made the left-hand turn in that tour. That tour got like 100,000 views. Right here, boom. And I got stuck right here. And I had no choice but to wait, cause you know, you just gotta wait. And they made a sale right in front of us. So that was a priceless moment in virtual tour history. <laughs> cause all the viewers knew what went down. Um, so in high school, there was workshops, right? So I remember there was vending, vending workshop, you know, vending machines and all that stuff. Check out this dude. That's like, it's like he's standing like on a lower level of the ground. <laughs> so vending had a relationship with the Coca-Cola factory because, you know, vending machines, Coca-Cola and all that stuff. So I remember like some of my peers aspiring to after they graduate to work for Coca-Cola. And I don't know why that seemed to be a good thing, but at the time, I guess pay was pretty good back in the early 2000s. I think you started off at like 16, 17 bucks an hour. And for 18 year old high school student, I guess that was something to look forward to. I had a buddy that was in welding, Hugo. He was in welding. I think straight out of high school, he went to like $21 an hour. And that was just like starting rate to being a welder. And there was some underwater welders who were more in like the $40, $50 range per hour. But underwater welding is super dangerous for, mo for many reasons. But <clears throat> yeah. All right, we're on Tioga, G and Tioga. If we move any farther, further, further we'll be in uh, Junietta, Fountainville. But, but then again, remember I told you guys the sister neighborhood right here is Harrogate. And we're actually approaching. Harrogate Plaza on our left-hand side. We can't go left because it's a no outlet. Same thing with the next block. No outlet. Point eight. I like that Toyota Point Eight on my left. That was nice. I seen a really clean, cream one today. Um, and this is Harrogate Plaza over here on our left-hand side. And if we keep going forward, we'll enter the Harrogate neighborhood. So I'm gonna try to show you guys some of these little blocks over here. There was probably a handful of little blocks that I didn't get a chance to show you guys today just because the way the design is of Upper Kensington, specifically the northern portion of Upper Kensington is kind of tricky. I could have showed you guys those blocks, but we would have had to keep circling around certain blocks if there was only one way to get through them. Look at this house on my right. You see how they made a second floor deck? See it right there? See the second floor deck? We're traveling 15 miles an hour, guys. I do have cars behind me. We're passing Malta Street, and again, or you can say Malta, but it's Malta. <laughs> Malta Street. Let's make this right. You got premium pizza on our left. Let's make this right on I Street. There's a barber shop on our right. I can make this this right here, or I can go one block further. Could have made it right there. Probably should have, but it would have been repetitive after that. Let's make this right on Russell. I think Russell's fair. Got somebody reversing in front of us, and then are they planning on parking on the sidewalk? They have their turn signals on. I'm telling you, if like your arm was falling off, man, I would hate to try to like have to drive you to the to the nearest hospital in this neighborhood. Cause with stuff like this, ain't no telling if you could, if they're gonna be able to screw your arm back on. Because by the time you get there, like, the nerves will probably be all done. Look at this. They just sit in there. 
You're gonna move forward. I give you. I give you. Let's let's count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven. I couldn't make it past seven. I gave him a friendly beep. That was a friendly beep. That was a beep beep beep. You know, there's different versions of beeps. There's different variations of like meh meh. Move out the way or like meh meh. Or like meh 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 meh. <laughs> oh man, bro. More potholes and more mud holes. I'm not for all these mud holes and these potholes. Broken window on our right on that Toyota. Well, Russell, we coming out the 900 block of Russell. This guy looks like he wants to turn up a one way. I don't think that's gonna be possible, but I'm gonna let him do what he do. It's none of my business. This is that block that I made the left on earlier that I told you guys that I accidentally caught the transaction going on. Go ahead, Scooter Dude. Oh, I thought Scooter Dude was gonna go in front of us. There was a dude driving by us with a scooter. And now we're driving straight towards Harrogate Plaza. Now we did not cover the whole entire Kensington neighborhood in this one drive, but we did cover a good portion. I just wanted to plant the seed and show you guys what the area looked like. Please consider subscribing and staying tuned for our next Kensington video of the Kensington Virtual Tour Series, where I will cover all four Kensingtons, including, but not limited to, Kensington, East Kensington neighborhood, West Kensington neighborhood, and the old Kensington neighborhood.